Hi, my name is Isabel Murphy, and for my video, I'm going to be eating some tamales from Tres Nopales. Um, they're not served traditionally in the husk. They are served like this, but honestly, I've never had it served like this, so it's pretty, it's pretty fun. I know it's going to be delicious. I also got some guacamole chips salsa, and then, you know, you got to top it off. All right, so tamales, you can find them ingrained in uh, Guatemalan, Mexican, and other Latin American cultures. And over our lessons in chapter three, we learned about nixtamalization and uh, we learned the process of it, either reading the e-text the e or during our uh, quiz review video. And as we learn the process of nixtamalization and or the masa production process, is when you make the masa dough using corn, soaking it in the alkaline solution, cooking it, steeping it, washing it, and then grinding it into a dough or a paste. And you can dry that out and that's how you get the masa flour. In this clip, you can see the dry kernels being removed from the corn and then it's going to be soaked in an alkaline solution that's typically made from water and calcium hydroxide. It's also known as cal. And during this process, the kernels undergo several chemical changes, including the softening of the holes, which uh, facilitates the hole removal, and it increases the nutritional value by freeing the bound niacin. Uh, the corn is then rinsed, and then as you can see here, it's being rolled into a dough. So uh, growing up, I ate a lot of tamales, uh, you know, Mexican household, and then I was, my family is very Catholic, and they would always have the uh, big festivals. So I would just always be getting the, all the tamales. And as far as I know, they weren't made using the nixtamalization process. They were used, uh, made using the uh, pre uh, masa flour, which is just as good. Um, but one day, I actually, I would like to try a tamale that was made with the masa dough that was made at home. Um, and using this newfound knowledge, I could always go to my family and learn how to make it then and show them how to make it. Right, and um, here's the tamales. They, are, they aren't made in the traditional way, so it is a little bit harder to showcase what it is like, but usually it would be a type of meat. For these, I have beef. They are surrounded in the, uh, the masa dough, kind of engulfed in it, and then you take the husk and put it in the husk and then roll it up, and that holds its shape. So the dough actually is my favorite part. I just think it's a unique texture. You don't get a lot of places. This is actually the dough right here. It's really good. 